Hello and welcome back to Pixie's Projects. Today we're going to do part three of my coloring book collection. I'm going to get started. We're going to start with the letter C and see how far we go. I usually like to leave these videos about a half hour. Anything longer than that, it gets tedious for me. So I apologize if you're looking for something longer. And if you're looking for something shorter, you can always do it in two parts. Okay, so we're going to get started. I have this book by Daria Kakaris. Kakersoy, Carcassoy. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but it's the Grayscale Coloring Book 5, which I've just shown in my last haul. Um, like I said, when I did the haul, everyone's seen this book, and I have not colored in it yet, but I did just get it. So, there's that. We also have... Um, a bunch of Joseph Kattenbang mythographic books. I have Mythographic Imagine, and I am not sure. I love the way these books look, but they're so complicated for me. Um, and then it's that whole full set syndrome. You know, I've had them, so I have to get them all. And I'm not really coloring them in a lot because it takes forever to pick out what the details are. Uh, this is Mythographic Odyssey, and again, not really sure. Got a lot of tags in it, though. Uh, no, that one has not been colored. Then we have Mythographic Animals, and I think I did something in this one. I did. I did him, oh, in 2019, so we have this frog guy. And that may be it. Yes, it is. Then we have Mythographic Aquatic. And I do believe I've colored in here as well. And again, they're just so pretty, but so much stuff is going on that it's very hard for me to focus when I color them. But I have her, and I've just done her in August. I really enjoyed doing this page. I know I used my ink tents in the background and then just, um, I think the Sioux color colored pencils. Oh, please forgive my cat. He's decided to come in. So all that noise is him opening his cat door. Um, I have a flip through of this as well. This is Amy Cesare's, uh, tarot journal. And I still have not done any work in this yet. Then I have Circle of Life, uh, Mel Pomini, Chat Zipan Aguchu. I think I'm not really good at this. Um, I have this page, which is kind of hard to see in the light here. It's kind of gray out right now. But I did a bunch of little bubbles just to test out pencils and see how they felt in the book. And then I've done one page in here also. Somewhere. There it is. I did that back in May. Then I have the Coco Wyo Cute Stuff book. Oops, let me get that in frame. And I've done, I believe, one in here. Yep. I did this because it reminded me of uh, the old school DSs. So I thought that was really fun to do. And I did it the Coral because that's the one I used to have. Um, and in this one, I just did a lot of colored paint pens. I don't know how visible that is, just to make the ribbon sparkly. And then I also have one more Coco Wyo book, and this is the Chibi Girls. And there's one in here as well, which is right here. And I did that back in May. Oh, August, sorry. Um, and again, I've said it on the other videos, and I'll say it again now. If there's anything you want to flip through of, just let me know. I have my Coloring Heavens divided also by the artists if there's only one in there. So this is Collateral Damage Studios. And it's a lot of anime, which is not so much my thing. But she was really cute, so I colored her. Then we're on to Coloring Book Cafe, of which I only have two. I have this adorable animals book, and I do. I like the size of it, like, 
This is a, a regular size coloring book, so it's a little bit smaller. I like that. It's not, you know, my very tiny ones, but it's close. And in here I've done these fish. And I know there's a bunny in here as well. And this is really a mix of styles in this book. And there's the bunny page. And I also have their 125 mandalas. Um, I like to do mandalas a lot when I'm taking a break from a harder page. Uh, or when I'm done something and getting ready to start another one, I'll pick this up. Um, there is at least one. I did this. It's trying to make it look like stained glass. I don't know if you can see all the gold. But I wasn't really happy with the colors on it. And then this was another one I did stained glass as well or attempted it and it's got the gold instead of black lines but that's all that's done in that one then we have my coloring heaven pile that has no pages colored in it i have a christmas special from oh i don't know it might be 2020 or 2019 i'm sure it's probably saying it somewhere right on here and i just don't see it but yeah i don't know which one this is and I don't think I've colored anything in this one. Maybe this Christmas I'll pull it out and do something. Yep, nothing in there. Then I have the Dark Crystal Special, which is another one that I haven't colored in. Which I want to, just haven't gotten there. Then I have a Halloween Special. This one, don't know which year. Again, I'm sure it says something somewhere. I just don't know where. So, I may have colored in this. I did. I have that one. And that looks like that's about it. Yep. Then we have this one. And this is the one I just picked up the other day at my Michaels. So there's nothing colored in here, but it is quite lovely. Honestly, I got it because my printer hasn't been working. And I want to do some of the Sarah Richter pages that are in here. But it's very cute. This is another year of the Halloween special, which may or may not have anything in it hmm I don't think so no nope. maybe I need to pull these this week and do something before Halloween's over again and then I have a bunch of the Crayola books that people buy me um so they see them and they know I like to color so they pick stuff up and I know I did uh Frankenstein hands in this but I think I took it out and put it in my binder which will be another video I do um, sometimes if something's single-sided or like this one, I think they, they come out, they're just like posters. I'll put them in a binder so that they don't get destroyed. And I think there's a Rugrats one I did of these that's in the binder as well. But these are nice little books when I want to play with markers again. Um, with well-dressed pets. Which is another one that was really cute and I haven't colored in it. I just think it's a lot of fun. But I haven't gotten to it. So maybe soon. I'm putting these in separate piles now as I do it. So that I can know what, what's coming up. This is another one that's the poster size little things. And I have not colored in here. Uh, my partner got me this because he likes the Mandalorian. And he's hoping to see something colored from it. Without hope, there's nothing, right? We'll see. <laughs> Pardon me. Then I have Dream Escapes, which is really just interesting. Um, it's kind of all over the place, but it's just the idea of it's really nice. And I haven't colored in here either. Sorry, the cat is trying to tire up my uh, carpet right now because I'm not paying attention to him. I wouldn't be surprised if he winds up on camera. 
And then we have uh, my Camilla de Erico books, which she has a new one coming out next year. I can't wait for. Not that I've colored much in any of these either. I think my collection might be just so big that it's hard to get to everything all the time. Um, but I am trying to make sure at least one is done in every book. This is when I realized I could use my stamping stencils in my books, so I did. And this is one of my first Polychromos pages, too. And I think that's it for that one. Then we have Cute and Creepy, and I know there's some things in here because I just did one not that long ago. I just love her work. It's so pretty. These are the guys I did a couple weeks ago. And I did them all with um, gel crayons and uh, neo colors. But I used no pencils of any kind, no markers. It's just the neo colors and the gel pens. And you can kind of see, I started the background on this page, which wasn't blending so well. And by the time I got to the second page, I got really good at it. So I have to do it again somewhere. I think that might be it in that one. Then we have Pop Manga Mermaids. I believe there's something in this one as well. Here she is. The little girl on the narwhal. And that may be it in that one as well. It is. Then we have uh, Forest Diver, Fantastical World of the Brothers Grimm. And I love this book. I just haven't colored a lot in it. I've got the one page. I did Sleeping Beauty. And this was done a long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. And that's it for that one. And this is a book that, again, I love. I just... Every time I pick it up to color it, I just put it back, and I don't know why. But the pictures in here are just so nice. They're very nature. They remind me a lot of the fall, and then I just never never get to do it. Oh, that one has to go in my other pile. And then I have The Ink House by Rory Dobner, and I've done nothing in here as well. Sometimes I just think it's too pretty for me to touch it. But there's that one. And a couple more color coloring heavens are coming. We have the dragon special. This is a uh, dragonologist, Dr. Ernest Drake. And I have not colored in here as well. And we have the durian addict, Bohemian beauties. And I know I've done at least one in here. Somewhere. There it is. And I did the zodiac signs and a kind of a galaxy background, but it's very pastel. Um, but I liked it. Then we have the Kanoka Agusa books. And we have the Coloring Heaven special, which I have not colored in. Um, this is one of those artists whose work I do not color. It's gorgeous. I need to, but they scare me. Um, a lot of intimidation with these. Uh, this one is the Symphony of Cute Animals. I also just saw that all of these books, the three that I have, are coming out in English editions um, next year on Amazon. So I'm hoping I don't buy them just because the words are in English. Because that would be ridiculous since I haven't colored any of these. And there's that one. And then this one, I don't know what the English name of this one is. This one's written in a couple languages, including French. Um, but, again, oh, I did color. I colored a little frog out of here and cut him out, and he's also in my binder. So, technically, I've colored in this book. <laughs> and then I have the Rhapsody in the Forest one. And this one I've done nothing in as well. I just think this work is so beautiful. It makes it really hard for me to even start in one of them. And I like that there's a lot of different themes to them. So, you know, you wouldn't get bored if that was all you had. 
then I'm going to not pronounce this correctly. It's eerie or irie, airy, airy maybe. Um, this is my most recent one. Something about fairy tales from the world or something I forget, but I haven't have not colored in it yet. But it's all fairy tale stories. And then I have uh, this one. I think this is World Heritage Travel, maybe. I should leave cards in here so I know what I'm looking at, but I keep forgetting to do that. Um, I just love her style of drawings or their style of drawings because they use the ink and the toothpicks to do it. And I just think that's incredible. This is the only page I've done in here. Um, I had an accident with this book. So I blacked out everything and just focused on the um, the sky for this one. And this was all pan pastels and white paint. And I was really happy with how it turned out since I was kind of weepy before that because I really, I really botched it up. Uh, so that's it for that one. Then I have the second, we'll do these in orders. I've got the first tail. And this one has some wax papers in it, so that'll be helpful. I colored this back in 2018, and uh, yeah, it was a lot. I was not prepared, and I just kept going, so I'm happy. Except I wanted this to be really dark, so I used um, a Sharpie. And you can kind of see where it's bleeding through, but I think I can cover it up. Didn't know any better. And then I have this one, which I've just done recently with a friend of mine for a buddy color. And I was really happy with how he turned out as well. Then I have the second tail. And I may have colored in here, but maybe not. Nope, nothing yet. And then we have the third tail, and I think this one has some things in it. There we go. Um, this was all just flowers, and I added... Uh, this is before I knew how to get backgrounds. I used my pencils. It, it looks pretty good, but it was a lot of work. And I just added this little path for the fairy to walk down. I mean, I'm really happy looking back at it, but yeah, I... I don't know why I did that that way, but I couldn't think of another way. Um, and that's it for that one. Then I have Mary Engelbright, Color Me and Color Me Too. And I think most of these pages are out of the book, the ones that I've done. But I have this one in here. And this one has a lot of glitter. I don't know. If it's very visible, but it's in her hair and the cake and the words. Oh, and I have the three-dimensional, trying to think how to even show these, but the dots on her gown here are all three-dimensional. Yeah, that's it for that one. And then we have Mary Engelbright's Color Me Too. And again, if I've done anything, it may not even be in here because I I have a tendency to take these out. Um, these are sitting on the couch watching TV books for me. Nope, there's nothing in that one. Then I have Selena Fenich or Fenick Fairy Portraits. A friend of mine a couple years ago, she very much liked her work, so she kept buying me the books so we could do buddy colors. Um... We got quite a few done, and she had passed away last year, so we obviously didn't get to do any more, but I have the books, and I want to get on them so I can color some pages for her, but this one has not been done. Uh, Fedorable Fantasy Beasts. I don't know if I've gotten in this one yet. And she also bought me the mini books, too, and I have, I have a couple of those I showed on my first video that I've colored in. And this one's not been colored in. Fairy tale book, we did one, I know. Somewhere. Is it? Yeah, there it is. 
This one is Diamonds and Toads. And I was really happy with how that one turned out. I think that's it for this one as well. Yes. And then I bought this one when Australia was having the wildfires. Um, she was selling that with donating money to the cause, you know, to stop the fires and help with everything. Um, yeah, back in January 2020. And the money went to American Wildlife, or Australian Animals and Wildflowers, something. I don't really remember, but I have not colored in it yet. I just really wanted to buy it. So I did. But it's nice because it tells you all the animals and the flowers for each page. So you can look them up for reference photos. And then I have the Fadorables Fantasy Tea Party, which I have colored in at least once or twice. Uh, I've got that one. And that one's just glitters and gel pens and markers. And I have this Alice page. And this little tea party fairy. I think that might be it. It is. But that was a nice one to do. I have Chris Garver's Animal Odyssey. Um, I got this book. I saw it, I think, at Joanne's or Joanne. Um, and I thought it would be really neat to color in. It's kind of like Millie Murata's stuff, but different animals. So thought I'd try it out and I don't if I have I don't think I've colored much um but I do like to get books made by tattoo artists when I can because it's just another medium for them and I know you've all seen like at least my star tattoos I I love tattoos um but yeah I don't know if I've done anything I need to I have a scorpion. Okay. Wasn't really thrilled with how he turned out. The background was too dark for what I had going on. But it's done. So I've done something. And that's it for that book. Then I have Dark Art by Francois Gautier. I did a flip through of this about a month ago. So I'm not going to do it again. But I have not colored in it yet. Oh, I put this off to the side so I wouldn't forget. I did my small pocket books. Um, but since then, I've gotten this one. I think it's Glenn Dent, the Little Horrors Coloring Book. And I have not colored in it. I just got it. I'm going to leave that to the side so I can later on today. And then I have another Olga Golovskina. Uh, this is her Alice in Wonderland book. And I know there's at least one in here. It's... Uh, it, you know, it's um, Amazon paper, and I used a lot of water on it, so it's got that, the crinkles. I think that's all I've done in there. Yes, but this is a really fun book. I'm just going to grab the rest of these now. I have two Angela Gonzalez books, Colors for Life, and I know I've done things in here. Here's this one. And that might be it. Nope, one more. And we have that one. I just love the style of her drawings. They're just very childlike and cute. So I'm trying to collect hers as well. And I just mm, sort of recently got this one, Sea of Colors. I like it. It just flips this way, so it's really kind of... I'm going to figure out how to show you. It's got a lot of note pages at the back and instructions on how to recycle, but then it's all... Very cute sea creatures, bottles, mermaids. Just, it's so adorable. Um, so I have to do something in that one. Then I have Creative Haven Winter Wonderland. I think this was a, yeah, Teresa Goodridge. This was given to me by one of my children's uh, significant others for Christmas. And I love Teresa Goodridge's, Goodridge's artwork. But again, we're like the Joseph Kattenbang. It's it's so detailed that I I tend to look at it and then put it back. And especially this one with all the snow. It's a lot going on. Um, but I do want to color in it. 
And then I have her country farm scenes. Same thing. It's just a lot. So, when I do a lot, I tend to do more fantasy type stuff than um, reality, I guess. But they're very pretty. Um, I've got a few more of hers as well. I've got Country Charm. And I thought I colored in, yeah, I did color in this one. I did this one uh, a couple falls ago. I do like how it turned out, but it was just a lot of stuff. And I don't usually do that much on a page. Like the more fiddly they get, the less I want to do it. Um, and then I have picturesque scenes. I think this is like a compilation book, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, so yeah. Uh, 95 illustrations and it's a collection, so if anybody knows... There we go. I can see it. It's spring scenes, summer scenes, and autumn scenes, and plates from Winter Wonderland, which is one of the books I have. So it's just a bunch of different scenes from... Oh, I opened right to a Halloween page. It's time to do something. Um, Start back here. So yeah, it's just basically a seasonal book, I guess, which is nice. I saw some Thanksgiving and Halloween, summer, yeah. I think, um, I think one of the kids brought this home for me, so it means it was in a store, you know, that they would go to, so probably like the Walmart or whatever. And then I did not know she did children's coloring books, and so I had bought them because I just thought they were very cute. Her, her faces are really nice. Uh, this is the Pretty Princesses book, which the paper is completely different than her other books, and it's double sided, so it's a bit difficult to color in. Um, this one I've just done the faces on the people and haven't gotten any further than that. So, gotta put that on the pile to get done. And then I have the Little Mermaid Friends, and I know I've done one in here, which is right here. I went all out for this one, I had so much fun. I have um, a rainbow border around the picture, lots of glitter, like in her scales if you can see it I don't the lighting here's so bad because it's so gray and gloomy out and then again with the dimensional accents they're in her hair I don't know if you can see them but that one was a lot of fun and I have just three more going now and we're done for this pile uh, I've escaped to Wonderland this is good wives and warriors I want to get their Shakespeare book and I think they have an Oz one and um something else but I want to get them here's a regular size book they're very small I like them a lot I just don't color in them again like everything I don't color in anything often I don't think I do more than one page in a book at a time um, but I did these mushrooms because I live in uh, what is touted in America as the mushroom capital of the world so it's nice because I actually like mushrooms, so it's I wanted to color those right away. And then I have two books I have not done anything in. I have Cat Coloring Therapy 1 and Cat Coloring Therapy 2. And I bought these a while ago. Um, I just think they're really pretty. I like cats, except when they come in my room when I'm trying to film. Um, yeah, I think they're great. I just haven't gotten to them yet. And there are flips, th fl ugh, sorry, let me try that again. There are flip throughs up of each of these books on my channel already. So you can look at them more in depth if you want. But that's where I'm going to leave it today. Um, so we're up to G. If that gives you any indication, I'm looking maybe three or four more videos, I think. And that would be about it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll be back later with another one. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.